rumor or any statement by anyone that says that I made a decision to get out of the race is inaccurate, at best. At best, it's inaccurate. And I think it's very, very important that everyone understands that. Well, this is happening just five days out from Election Day. Political analyst Roland Martin joins me now, along with senior White House correspondent Ed Henry and Susan Candiotti by phone. Susan, you spoke to former President Clinton tonight, actually a few times tonight. What did he tell you? Well, he said that he, he acknowledged that he had a conversation with Kendrick Meek about this. You know, they go way, way back, their friendship does. And he said he wanted to talk to me about it because he was concerned about uh, that Meek and Governor Christ would split the progressive votes. And so that's why he said that Meek wanted to discuss it with him. Here's part of what he said, Anderson. He's trying to decide what to do, and I talked to him, and, and I told him that uh, we went through everything. We talked about it a couple of times. And I said in the end, you know, he would have to do what he thought was right. He had to do what he felt best about, felt right about. And I think in terms of what I said to him and what he said to me, since he's my friend and he's the candidate, and he wanted us to talk, as we always have, I, I have to let him say whatever he wants to say about our conversation. It would be wrong for me to discuss it. Now, I also asked the former president, whose idea was it? And he said, well, you know, a lot of people had been discussing us. He sidestepped the answer, but he said, he, Meek, wanted to discuss it with me, and so we did. And you heard him say, I don't want to betray my friendship with him, and I think he's great, and therefore he should say about it what he wants to. Anderson, I went in on to ask President Clinton what he thought about criticism from GOP Chair Steele about no one should get involved in asking people to drop out of the race, especially an African-American candidate. And his response was, well, he would say that. He wants Marco Rubio to win, and he's just doing his job, and that's a bunch of politics. I asked him whether he, President Clinton, had discussed it with the White House. He denied it. Okay. Um, uh, Ed, uh, Ed Henry, uh, what did the White House, what are we hearing from the White House? What did they know? Do we know? I mean, where did this come from? Uh, I've spoke to a senior Democrat, Democratic Party official who said the White House was aware of this. They did not initiate these talks. They let Bill Clinton uh, uh, do it, uh, as well as one of his advisors, Doug Band, and that they were involved in the conversation. But I'm told the White House, very much aware of this, uh, was hopeful that this was going to come through. And in fact, they thought just a few days ago, I'm told, that there was a deal, uh, that Kendrick Meek was going to get out. And there was a feeling inside the White House um, that, uh, as Susan was suggesting, with Marco Rubio, the Republican, far ahead, Charlie Chris coming in second and Kendrick Meek a distant third. If Meek got out, that maybe many of his supporters would go to the independent Christ uh, and that would throw the, this race to him. And even though he's elected as an independent, he's likely to caucus with the Democrats next year, support Harry Reid for majority leader, etc. And that would essentially give the White House a Democratic seat. Then all of a sudden Kendrick Meek backed out. All this fell apart, Anderson. So are you hearing, though, that this was an idea? I mean, who came up with this idea to begin with? The DNC? President, Cl former President Clinton, the White House, uh, someone on Clinton's staff, do we my, know? My sense is, as Susan was saying, that, that former President Clinton suggested, it really has been out there for weeks as a possibility because Kendrick Meek has been so far behind. So there wasn't one person sort of driving this, per se. It was just sort of obvious that this could happen. It was finally Bill Clinton and his advisors who sort of tried to bring it all together. I think that also the Michael Steele statement is important to note because he kind of injected race here and said, right. look, uh, if, if a Republican leader had tried to push out an African-American candidate, Democrats would be howling about this. This is very touchy for, for this White House with an African-American president. You remember last year, they tried to push out the African-American governor in New York, David Patterson. It got very messy. You also remember back in 2008, uh, Bill Clinton is still steaming about what happened uh, when you had uh, some Obama advisors suggesting that there were racist statements by Bill Clinton. Uh, all of this is a very combustible Mix. No doubt. Um, uh, Roland Martin, I want to play that, that Michael Steele comment uh, that both Ed and Susan have mentioned. Let's, oh, it's in a graphic. Uh, Michael Steele said, President Clinton's actions to have Kendrick Meek withdraw from the campaign sends a chilling signal to all voters, but especially African Americans. One can only imagine the response if Republican leadership tried to force out of the race in the 11th hour a qualified black candidate like Kendrick Meek. Um, what do you make of this? I mean, clearly one of the biggest question marks for Democrats this year ha has been African American voters, whether they're going to show up in the kind of numbers the party needs. What do you make of this? 
Well, uh, well first of all, it's not surprising that uh, Chairman Michael Steele uh, would uh, jump into this because clearly they want to keep the attention on Rubio uh, and also want to make it clear that there's a schism within the Democratic Party. The Wall Street Journal actually came out with a report two or three weeks ago stating that a deal was in the works for Meek to drop out. Uh, I talked to Congressman Meek earlier tonight. I just got off the phone with him five minutes ago. He is steaming tonight uh, as a result of this report. He said that when President Clinton came down to Orlando and St. Petersburg to campaign with him, that they did have a conversation. They talked politics all the time. And he said that Clinton told him, hey, you know, what's the deal going on in terms of all this talk about you dropping out? Meek told me that he told the former president, Bill Clinton, that I'm not the one who should drop out. Charlie Crist should be the one who dropped out. Uh, and so you had this back and forth. I also talked to a senior administration official who made it clear that President Barack Obama was not involved in any conversations, was not aware of any conversations, did not give any blessings whatsoever to any discussions with anyone about Meek dropping out. And so what you have here are obviously different folks there. And so you have Meek characterizing a, co a, a conversation with Bill Clinton that is far different yeah. than what Susan just reported that Bill Clinton is characterizing.